Meanwhile, the community and law enforcement are joining together for National Night Out. We'll bring you team coverage in just a bit, but first, more on the shots fired in a Newburgh neighborhood today. Now, Rebecca, you joined us at five. I hear you have some new details now. Yes, and we'll get to that a little bit towards the end, but police responded to reports of gunfire at the 900 block of Noose Avenue around 1.11 p.m., bringing yet another report of violence in the community when it seems crime rates keep going up. Newburn police on the scene told me a group of people were arguing this afternoon when a gun was pulled and one person was shot. The victim was taken to the hospital, but it's unknown what condition they're in at this time. Police sent out a text alert saying the person of interest in the shooting has been detained. Kelly Boyette was on her way to a friend's house nearby when she and her mom, Nancy, saw all the police cars. The whole road's blocked off. We can't even get to her house. We're freaking out. We're like, oh my gosh. And then we finally find the house and she calls her friend who lives right there on that corner house. And it's like, uh, do you know what happened? And they were like, yeah, no, two people got in a fight and one of them got shot. This shooting is the latest incident of violence in New Bern, where violent crime seems to be on the rise. Just last month, one-year-old Neilani Sheptak was shot and killed, and her killer still hasn't been found. Police chiefs across Eastern Carolina have begun begging for community help with solving these types of crimes. What do you guys think? Is this hot, something that you guys hear of a lot? Like, yes. what's it like kind of Around spec here recently? Yes. Yeah, and it's, it's really sad. It's really, really sad because, I mean, there's just no point in it. There's really no point to it at all. I mean, if you can't handle stuff just talking things out, you, you should not need to escalate it. There's really no point to that at all. Yeah, we just got more information on this shooting. I have the press release right here. Police have identified the victim as 19-year-old Ong Niang. Niang was transported to Carolina East Medical Center, but was transferred to ECU in critical condition. There are four people arrested in this case. We originally said there was one, but there is no further threat to the public at this time. This is a developing story, so we'll keep you updated both on air and online at WCTI12.com.